Okay, here's the second part of the video solutions for our homework 11, 2, 11, 3 in the problem solving workbook. You should have already watched the video for 11, 2, and there you were solving word problems by using equations that were already given for you. All you basically had to do is substitute on whatever information they gave you, whether it's the taxi cab problem or the other ones, into the equation and solve for the letter that was left and then make sure that it made sense. Now in 11, 3, we're solving equations, this time with variables on both sides, but they don't give us any equations, so we have to make them. So there's a type of problem in the real world where basically um, we're paying a fee for something. No matter how much we use that something, we pay an initial fee, like in the, a fitness club, you might pay $10 per month, and then you pay per month for how long you keep it. Well, some fitness clubs charge you more to begin with, but maybe less per month. Your job would be to decide which is a better deal. And of course, that comes down to how often you use it. How many months would you be there to use that club? Well, another good one is the um, uh, calling plans. So that's what we have here. So basically what we do here is a generic kind of equation would be the total cost that you're going to pay for the plan would be equal to the original fee. We're going to call it C because it's constant. That doesn't change. So that would be the 395 the 895 and in this plan, nothing. So you might say, well, I'm going to go with this plan. I don't have to pay anything to begin with. But notice then it charges per minute. This plan has the most per minute. So the more minutes you use, eventually the more that plan is going to cost in the long run. So you got to be careful. So anyway, the C would be the initial payment. And then we're going to add a per minute charge. We know per something means to multiply. So in this case, we'd have a dollar amount per minute. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and we're going to do our four square. We know we talked about vocabulary, so we have a fee, we have per minute. Okay, so we just think of what the problem means. And then let's do our equation. So plan A, the total there, would be the 395 originally, but then we have to pay eight cents for every minute we use. So that's multiplying. It's like if you were to babysit, how much you get per hour, you'd have to multiply the dollars times the hours. Okay? Plan B, now you're paying more to start it, but notice that it's only six cents per minute. So that's going to be a better deal than A at some point when you make so many phone calls. And then finally, plan C, well, gee, there's nothing there to start, but you do pay 10 cents a minute, which is more than the others. But if you don't call very much, that would be a better plan. So they ask us in number one, at what number of minutes do A and B equal? So for A, I'm going to use its equation, which is 395 plus 0 0.08M, that's 8 cents per minute. And I'm going to make that equal to plan B, which is 895 plus 6 cents a minute. And what I have now is an equation where I follow through on my steps. There's no distributive property. There's no combining alike terms, but I do have variables on both sides. So I'm going to move this one over by doing the opposite of 6 cents per minute, which is negative 6 cents per minute. Okay, those would cancel, and I'd be left with 395 plus, let me see, if I do that, I get 0.02m, and then I get 895 on the other. So I'm just solving equations. It's a two-step equation, so I do opposite of the number. So negative 395 on both sides. They cancel, so I'm left with 0 0.02 equals 5. Now opposite of the operation, so I'm going to divide by 0 0.02, divide by 0 0.02, and in the end, M stands for minutes. So basically, so I don't have to use a calculator, this is 2 cents. So how many 2 cents are there in $5? Well, how many 2 cents are in a dollar? There's 50 of them, and if I have $5, that's 5 of those 50s, so that's 250. So plan A and plan B would be equal if you called 250 minutes. So the thing you'd have to ask yourself now is, if I called less than 250 minutes, what would be the better deal? Well, in that case, A would be because you pay less to begin with. But if you're going to call more than 250 minutes, plan B would be better, even though you start out with more money, but in the end, you're paying less per minute. Okay? Now, for number two and three, you're basically doing the same thing except for you're doing different plans. So in this case, plan B we know was 8.95 plus 6 cents um, per minute. 
and we're going to make that equal to plan C, which we know was 0 plus 10 cents per minute. And then you just solve for M, like I did for problem number 1. In number 3, you're going to make A and C equal. So that was 395 plus 8 cents per minute. And you're going to make that equal to 0 plus 10 cents per minute. And again, you solve for M. And in that way, a business could figure out what the better deal is depending on how many times they think they're going to uh, make phone calls and how many minutes they would use up. So now we go to number four. Number four is the same type of problem. So up here we're talking about installing carpet. One carpet place charges you $100 just to come out and then $8 for every square yard they put in. Okay, Carpet World charges you only $75 to come out, but they charge you more Per square yard. So at one point, all right, would it be equal? Because then you can determine if I'm going to use less carpet, I go with the smaller fee or more carpet, I go with the larger fee even though or because it's charging you less per square yard. So let's again think of our, our basic generic equation, it was total equals a constant, that's your fee, plus so much money, and in this case, instead of minutes, it was yards of carpet. Okay, so Carpet World, uh, let me see, let's go with, it was, um, what names? Carpet Plus and Carpet World. So we'll say Carpet World will be just C, so Carpet World charged you $100 to begin with, but then only eight dollars per yard okay carpet plus we'll say is P they charged you only seventy five dollars to come out but then they charged you ten dollars per yard so at some point when you get more carpet even though the fee is less it's going to be more for you okay so at one point are they equal so just like we did in one two and three we're going to make those equations equal one hundred dollars plus eight dollars per yard equals seventy five dollars plus ten dollars per yard and then we have the same type of equation so I know I have to move the variables to the left or variables to the left so that's a negative ten y and a negative ten y those cancel so I'm left with one hundred plus negative two y equals seventy five now I have my two step equation so opposite of the number and that would give me negative two y equals negative twenty five and then opposite of the operation, so I'm going to divide by negative 2. So in the end, I get y equals 12 and a half. Okay? So at 12 and a half square yards of carpet, both companies are the same. So if I was going to get less carpet, I would go with carpet plus because they only charge me $75 to come out. If I'm going to get more than 12 and a half yards of carpet, I go with this company. Even though they charge more to begin with, they're charging me less right here for each yard. Okay, and so I believe that's letter C. Okay, we can do the same thing for problem number five, except for it's um, a shuttle service. So let's do our equations right here so I see the words. So one shuttle service, we'll call this X. Okay, charges you $10 for pickup and then $0.10 cents per mile. It's like the taxi cab problem. The yellow sh shuttle service we'll call Y. Okay, has no pickup fee, but you'll notice their per mile charge is much more. Find the number of miles for which the cost of them is the same. So let's make our equations. So the first shuttle service is going to charge you, remember, the original fee. So that's 10 And then they're going to charge you so much per mile, which was $0.10 cents per mile. Okay, notice that this looks like our generic equation. Okay, sh the second shuttle service, Y, they're not going to charge us anything to begin with, but they're going to charge us 35 cents per mile. Okay, so now we know from the other problems we've been doing that we simply make them equal. Okay, so I'll do that here. So we're charged, what again was it? Should have memorized that. So $10 and then 10 cents per mile. So $10 plus 10 cents per mile is going to be equal to no initial fee, but 35 cents per mile. And then we have the same type of problem. So let's go ahead and move this variable to this side by doing the opposite. 
So negative 0.35m, they cancel. So I'm left with 10 plus, that would be a negative 0.25m. I don't care if you use a calculator, and that would equal zero. That's fine. Okay, then this is basically a two-step equation. So now I've got to do opposite of the number. They cancel, so I'm left at negative 0.25m equals negative 10. And then I'm going to divide by negative 0.25, divide by negative 0.25. They cancel, so I'm left with m equals, we know negative divided by negative is positive. And basically this is a quarter. So how many quarters are in $10? Well, there's four quarters in a dollar, and there's 10 of those dollars, so 10 times 4 is 40 quarters. And if you've ever had a roll of quarters, that's how many. So that was 40, and our label was miles. So again, what, it, what you would do is if you're using a shuttle is you would say, well, if I'm going to go less than 40 miles, I'm going to go with this shuttle service because they don't charge me a fee. If I were to go more than 40 miles, I'm going to go with this shuttle service. Even though they charge me more to begin with, they're charging me less per mile, and in the end, that's a better deal. And companies do this all the time when they order stuff. They have different companies to choose from. So that was H. Okay. So now we could do the same thing for 6 and 7. So I'll do number 6. All right. Joshua can purchase tile at one store for $0.99 cents per tile, but he has to rent a tile saw for $25. Bucks. So that's your fee. At another store, he can buy tile for buck fifty per tile. So that's more, but he can borrow the saw. So he doesn't have a fee. Find the number of tiles for which the cost is the same. So again, here's our equation. So we'll call the first one X, where he has to get it. So remember, $25 for the saw, but he pays $0.99 cents per tile. We'll call T. The other place we'll call Y. He doesn't have to um, rent the saw, so he has no fee, but he does pay a buck fifty for every tile, so that's more. And again, we know from all the problems, the practice that we simply make them equal. So 25 plus 99 cents per tile is going to be equal to 0 plus $1.50 per tile. Then we solve it like we've done the other. So negative 150t, <coughs> negative 1.50t, they cancel. I'm left with 25 plus, that's going to be, what's 150 minus 99 would be 51, but it's negative. So, or negative, it'd be 0.51, and that equals 0. Okay. And then I have a simple two-step equation, so opposite of the number. So that's negative 0.51. Oh, that was T, by the way. Equals negative 25. And then I would divide by, I'm kind of running out of room there at the bottom, divide by negative 0.51. Divide by negative 0.51. They cancel in the end. T equals, and in this one, I'll have to use a calculator. So 25 divided by 0.51. Let me grab a calculator real quick. Twenty-five divided by 0.51 gets me about 49.0 something. And we know that that label was tiles. So 49 tiles, and that's letter D. Okay, so I'll let you do number seven on your own. Again, do what we've done in the other problems. Set up your equation for each company. In this case, one plumber charges that initial fee. Remember, that's your constant. And you're going to add $15 per hour. So that's your variable part. Then your other plumber is going to charge you no fee. So that's zero. But he's going to charge you more per hour. Okay? And then determine um, which one's the best buy by setting them equal and solving for hours. And if you were a person who had to get a plumber in that situation, okay, you could determine what's the better buy.